Let's take a look at the channel strip in Cubase. You can find it over in the left zone under this tab right here. You can also access it in the Mix Console under the Strip tab. One of the easiest ways to get a representation of what's going on with the channel strip is to press the E button and open the channel overview window. And there you can see them laid out in racks. Over here on the left hand side, you can see the channel strip items that we have access to. At the moment, I'm turning them on and off. And as I do so, they'll turn on and off over out in the main editing window with the racks. So it's really easy to get access to different components of the channel strip. It even contains the EQ. And over in this tab, I can get a frequency spectrum, edit my EQ, and you'll notice that it will also change over in the left hand side. So the point is anything I do anywhere in Cubase will reflect overall. The channel strip preset section contains tons of professional quality combinations of these different rack components and different parameters inside the racks. So you can find something to fit almost any professional recording application. And that's especially important if you're working at home in a home studio or project studio and you're just getting started out in Cubase. These presets contain what I'd call global or overall presets for all of the elements in the channel strip. But you can also go into things like the equalizer and load a specific equalizer preset. So this isn't going to change all of the other racks that we have set up here in the channel strip. This will only change the EQ and leave everything else as it was. So you can pick and choose. You'll also notice that there's different components in many of these rack sections. For instance, there's three different compressors. Each of the separate components have their own presets, much the same as what we've just done with the EQ. So now that I've got the tube compressor loaded, I can go in and select an individual preset that's only going to affect the tube compressor. Then if I want to, I can go and select another EQ preset, which once again is only going to change the EQ in my rack setup. So the point is you can pick and choose at will, and there's plenty of different presets that you can combine to get the right sound for you. Click on this little cross button here to return to the main channel strip interface. Having three different compressors and three different interfaces is really handy inside a channel strip because they're each going to give us a different color. Now we can bypass the effect inside the actual interface for the compressor. And one of the coolest things is we can activate a sidechain. So we can sidechain right here inside the channel strip. As you saw with the compressor, we can click on these little drop down arrows to get different items or change the items inside of our rack. For example, there's three different types of saturation that we can add basically with one click of a mouse. We can also move in between a de and an envelope shaper. Once again, presets are almost everywhere inside of Cubase. So for example, if I want to load a preset for the de I can do it right here in my channel strip list. Over on the right hand side, we've got three different types of limiters, which we can use for different types of applications. Once again, if you get stuck, there's a preset list right here containing a number of different engineers presets for different recording purposes. And just to remind you again, you can load and save master presets for the entire channel strip so that everything you do can be recalled at a later point in time. Another really useful purpose for the channel strip and the presets is over the top of a master channel. If you're struggling to know what to do over the top of your master channel and you want to export your music so that other people can hear it, take a look at some of the mastering presets that are included inside of the channel strip. Select a preset and it will automatically apply a combination of these different rack elements to make sure that your music is well controlled for the release to the general public. One final point in terms of using the channel strip is that you can move the different racks or elements around just by picking up and dragging them. And that's also the same on the left hand side. If you're not using the channel strip, I'd recommend you open it up and have a look at it. It's a really quick way of being able to get a hold and use really important elements in terms of recording and mixing inside of Cubase.